part-time jobs. <laughs> okay, so as you have heard now, so we are going to discuss about the student assistantship and everything surrounding that and about the part-time jobs and I don't think we'll go into the details about the jobs but and we'll leave all the links in the description below so just check it and if you want to contact him then join the Facebook group yeah. and I will also leave all the details below in the description. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, what are the basic requirements to get a student assistantship? Maybe before that you can highlight what are the types of student assistantship like teaching, grading or uh, doing something in the library or what kind of work are available? Yeah, uh, I would say like there are two kinds of student assistantships. One is like mostly technical. Uh, if you are getting, if you manage to find something in your own faculty, in your own department like you can for example my course is metallurgy so there are a lot of uh, student assistantship jobs uh, in my department like working in a lab or preparing samples there are a lot of jobs like you know uh, the basic lab work you do mm -hmm. and there is another category it's kind of like office kind of jobs like mostly administrative jobs or okay. Uh, you can be a receptionist at mm -hmm. a gym or maybe like in a communication assistant or social media yes, or something or yes like in a international student office, office. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. international office you can be a guy who assists international students with the admi admission processes mm -hmm. so you can do these kinds of jobs there are a lot of job openings regarding these these are the two kinds of things technical and non-technical Okay. The student assistantships. And what is the maximum hour limit you have and what is the salary? I like, uh, like a range. The student assistantships are called Hevi in Germany and okay. uh, per week you are allowed to maximum do 19 hours. Okay. Weekly. Okay. And uh, there is one more thing like uh, when you get the residence permit you are allowed to work 19 hours per week. Okay. But the heavy hours are not counted within that. Okay, so I didn't understand what that means. Uh, it means that uh, uh, you got the residence permit, you are allowed to work in Germany. Like you are allowed to work in some factory or uh, in some MACD, in some restaurant. Like mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can do some part-time job. Like off-campus jobs. Yes. Those are counted as working hours. Okay. Okay. But the student assistantship jobs, those hours are not counted under that okay that's what i mean so this 19 hour limit is for this off campus jobs for off campus as well as campus okay not including like 19 plus 19 38 you can do ah okay yeah so it's like a full-time work as you do in netherlands like 38 or 40 hours yes per week. yes but who has so much time yeah yeah that's true <laughs> who has you are you can't just work so basically and we also talked about that in the time management yes. in the life in Netherlands we life in Germany video just yes. check it in the information yes. card so most guys can't even complete 19 hours it's difficult mm. so yeah and uh, student assistantships like for uh, nowadays I have seen like coding has a lot of demand Okay. Like if you know some programming language or you have worked in some software company before, mm -hmm. you can easily get some student assistantship job. Like most of the simulation and modeling jobs need coding. Okay. So you can easily land in one of them. It's one of the skills you should learn. Like it's good. It will be easier. And if even if you don't get some student assistantship, you can find some part-time jobs like uh, there are some agencies like one of the those agencies is Axe Time. Okay. It's a company. It acts as a mediator between a factory and the student. Okay. So, so it's like a yeah. I mean, similar to a rental broker you have for finding houses. Yes. Or yes. Something. So you register yourself in that company. Jobs. And service. when they have some shifts, like someone goes on a holiday and they need to cover a shift the agency calls you are you free on that day can you cover a shift mm -hmm. then if you are free you go there work for eight hours and per hour you get like nine to ten euros okay and for night shifts you get more 
mm-hmm. you get paid more this is i am talking about the non of non university jobs non campus jobs okay yes so like and you can also work in some restaurant like dominos or mcd they also and but there i think you'll have this german language requirement yes that's that's one of the problem like Uh, mostly you have german customers okay so you yeah. have to you have to i mean that is them. also even though you don't need dutch here but yes. if you work in mcd or subway then you'll definitely you need, need it to deal with the locals yes. if you if you work in some factory or something like there are some biscuit factories or chocolate factories when you can where you can do your shifts there you don't need much german most okay. of them speak a little bit english Uh, manageable but in like service industry like restaurants and all you need german and if you work inside the university whatever work you do as you said like communication assistant or maybe administrators or yes. office then do you need german in most of the cases the, or if that's the requirement they mention in the job advertisement so it varies from the yes yes if if it's something international affairs you have okay. to manage or you have to talk only deal with german students mm-hmm. then you need german okay yes something like that okay and one thing because I, in netherlands it is a big thing like if you do a part time job then you have to change your visa type from student to work yeah. so do you have something like that in germany or it is something different no i said like you your residence permit you get uh, your work permit you get along with the residence permit okay yes okay so you don't have to apply differently mm. yes okay yeah. and okay and yes like student what is assist- the salary like per yes, hour like yes student assistantship pay a little more they pay like 12 euros per hour okay yeah and in some institutes it can go up to 14 euros per hour okay yeah obviously and but the non campus jobs they pay like 9 to 10 euros per hour okay so basically a bare minimum can be something around 9 yes yes the bare minimum is 9 okay yes and apart from that uh, so when you earn this money you also are liable to pay taxes right yes you are liable to pay taxes but you will be paying minimum of them like uh, because your you, gross income will be yes. less like if you have just one uh, hevi one student assistantship job in your hand then you don't have to pay any taxes so is it dependent on the number or is it dependent on the number of hours you spend for that job no it depends on the number of jobs you have okay if you have one uh, yeah they sign a contract with you like mm-hmm. weekly 19 hours contract or 10 hours contract so we are allowed to work for 19 hours in a week so you can have one 10 hour contract hv and another 9 hour contract hv okay or you can have one 19 hour contract hv mm-hmm. but if you have one 19 hour contract hv you don't have to pay taxes but if you okay. have two like one 10 hour and one 9 hour then you have to pay taxes on the second job okay only for the second job not for the first job yeah. okay so i guess we cleared everything for you yeah and we have already made four different videos on education admission requirements living about the german requirements do check them out in the recommendation and in the description below so guys as you can see we have taken a lot of effort to make this video i am such a camera conscious person and i am still sitting here sweating in front of you so please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get more such videos and please share this with your friends do don't, share don't be sel- don't be selfish so see you guys in ab- upcoming videos more about netherlands and also about germany and other parts of europe till then peace